have places to go and people to see. But first, you need a ride. Take the bus. Sometimes they usually have more limited buses than they do local buses. And they need to even it out. Riders are always ready, but they won't get anywhere without the bus operator. Zulma Maldonado isn't just along for the ride. This is her bus. She's about to hit the road as one of the newest MTA New York City Transit bus operators. It's another graduation week at the Zarega Training Center in the Bronx. There's six weeks of instruction inside the classroom, inside the bus. Maldonado never thought she'd be in this type of driver's seat. So I said, can't hurt. I'm a pretty good driver. <laughs> Let's go for it. And they called me. She's a lifelong transit rider. COVID impacted so many things, including her job in the hospitality industry. One day, she saw an MTA job posting on the bus. It's 46,000 pounds of metal and pieces and people everywhere. You do have to have eyes in the back of your head and you have to anticipate what someone's move is going to be before they make it. I always say, thank a transit worker. They tell me a wave when we get where we're going certainly means a lot to them. I also continually question management about service and scheduling. We have been waiting a lot longer recently for our rides. We're much closer to a full complement of workforce. As I said, we're pretty close to being able to cover every run every day. There are still positions to fill. A hiring freeze from the pandemic was lifted last March. That's why riders have sometimes seen service issues in transit. The MTA says hundreds of bus and train operators and conductors have graduated. Hundreds more are in training. Classes have been added. Back to the bus. It's definitely, you know, a world in itself. Bus operator Zulma Maldonado is ready. Wave hello if you see her. In order to secure this bus, it does, it does take a village. In the Castle Hill section of the Bronx, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.